Hi friends and thanks for coming for our Christmas story time. So today we're reading this book. It's called The Not Very Merry Pout Pout Fish. And I know it's kind of shining on me. So I'm gonna try to make it so we can kind of see the title there, but that's what it's called. And here's our fish. This is our pout pout fish. Can you make a pouty face? <laughs> so he's pouting during Christmas time and we're gonna find out why. It's a very fun and silly book. Uh, I really have fun reading it. So hope you guys enjoy the not very merry pout pout fish. The not very merry pout pout fish. And this is by Deborah Deason. And the pictures are by Dan Hannah. Look at those beautiful pictures. And Deborah or Dyson is the author. Okay. In a festive ocean corner, fish were decking out the reef, hanging tinsel, bows, and lights in a holiday motif. Voices laughed, voices sang, what a merry time of year. Yet a certain gloomy fish wasn't feeling any cheer. Oh, where's our gloomy fish? He's right there. Mr. Fish, with his list, wore a yuletide pout. Hmm. I need presents for my friends, but my time is running out. Well, look, he's in a nice list and he's thinking of other people. It's a wonderful thing, right? I wonder why he's so worried. <laughs> For a gift should be big and a gift should be bright and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. Do you guys think so? Hmm. And a gift should have meaning plus a bit of bling zing. So I'll shop till I drop for each just right thing. Look at him, he's, he's dreaming about a gift for his friend, Mr. Squid, and look how big that gift is. Mr. Squid is inside, it's like a submarine. That's, that's pretty big. At the first store he reached, Mr. Fish's eyes grew wide. The shelves were full of baubles. How could any fish decide? Shiny trinkets, handy gadgets, choices more and more galore. And yet nothing seemed quite right. Guess I'll try to shop next door. Oh, he can't seem to find what he's looking for. For a gift should be big, a gift should be bright, and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. Oh, look, he's thinking about a, a walking robot. Oh, wow, that's, that's, wow. And a gift should have meaning, plus a bit of bling zing. So I'll stop till I drop for each just right thing. He's sleeping and dreaming, huh? With those just right things. In a tizzy, busy crowd, shoppers everywhere beside him. Mr. Fish spied a banner for the season's hottest item. He has a bustle over, but they just sold out. Oh, Mr. Fish's hopes wobbled in a bout of pout doubt. Hmm. I think he doubts all. He'll be able to come up with something. For a gift should be big, and a gift should be bright, and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. Oh, he's thinking about buying his friend a rocket ship. Wow. And a gift should have meaning, plus a bit of bling zing. So I'll shout till I drop for each just right thing. Wow, he's thinking a lot about this, right? He's doing a lot of hard work. He reached the final store and was very first in line, but his shopping plans were dashed, were closed. Said the sign, there were no stores left. There was no place to go, 
Mr. Fish had nothing, not a single gift to show. Wow, did all that work and still it didn't really go as planned for him, huh? I wonder what will happen. Oh, a gift should be big and a gift should be bright and a gift should be perfect, guaranteed to bring delight. Look, he wants to get um, Mr. Mr. Eight a whole house. <gasps> Isn't that sweet? And a gift should have meaning plus a bit of bling zing, but I've shopped till I've plopped and I don't have a thing. Look, Mr. Pop Pop says she looks a little tired. Oh, this is big Pop Pop face. Mr. Fish's face sank in a crestfallen frown. I'll have to miss the party. I let all my friends down. Oh, is that true, do you think? Do, pre do, presents, do presents let people down if they don't get presents? No, right? But that's just, that's about how he feels. Then a gentle voice jingled. Mr. Fish, not true. All you really need to bring is the one and only you. That's an encouraging thing to say, right? But we know that Mr. Fish does want to bring presents, so that's hard. If you want to give some presents, it's not too late to start. For the best gifts of all come straight from the heart. You see that? It's pointing to his star, which is on his heart. Isn't that sweet? With the help of Miss Shimmer, sharing laughter, fun, and grins, Mr. Fish made gifts with his very own friends. Did you guys um, make things on your own? Can you guys make things? Well, I think so. <laughs> Later at the party, Mr. Fish passed them out. He felt very merry. This is what today's about. For his gifts were big. Are they big in size, like the house? No, no, but they're big because they're from his heart, right? And his gifts were bright, and his gifts were perfect, and they all brought delight, right? Perfect because it comes from us, someone else, showing that we care and that we love them, right? And that's how it brings delight to the person that we give it to. And his gifts had meaning, plus a bit of bling -sing. and his each and every friend loved their just right thing, right? Ah. So even though he did, he he made a, a, a little hat, oh, and a, and a beanie, and he made a, a little rocket ship. Yeah, and, and that's, that's so thoughtful. <laughs> they all were happy, all were laughing, all were talking, all were singing, all were sharing in the season, and the goodwill it was bringing goodwill, right? That's you know, that you wish good on someone else, right? Want good for other people. It's a wonderful thing to bring for the season. Mr. Fish joined his friends and he felt his heart lift. They had peace, joy, and love. What a very merry gift. <laughs> oh, it says manta claws and some manta ray. Ah, that's fun. <laughs> oh, and he got me to do something. So anyway, thank you so much for reading that Christmas book with me and remembering how Christmas time is a nice time to get somebody else something and we also get gifts too. And just remembering that you, you can always think of somebody and give them your, and when things come from the heart, that's when they truly have that meaning, right? And bling zing. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you had fun with this book and we'll do another book soon. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have a great holiday and I'll see you next time. Bye.